Greetings, fellow gorehounds, and welcome back to a Blood Splatter vlog. I'm the Horror Guru. And I'm Count Jackula. And welcome to our very first uh, post-quarantine vlog, or mid-quarantine vlog. So, uh, if you have... Quarantine vlog! If you haven't been paying attention to... Vlogantine! If you haven't been paying attention to the news, uh, California, where we reside, is currently under... Uh, not lockdown, but a stay-at-home order. Well, they're yeah, they're basically... They can't force everyone to stay at home, but it has been highly suggested. Yeah. And they are, they've shut basically everything but down but essential services. Yeah. So basically, we really shouldn't be going outside. So that means we've been watching a lot of uh, Shudder, a lot of Hulu, a lot of Netflix. Yep. And uh, one of the movies we recently decided to watch is the latest film from the Fangoria magazine. Uh, they decided to get into filmmaking. And their latest film is called Satanic Panic, um, which... Um, as the name implies, is a satanic horror film <laughs> about a, a young girl who happens upon a, a satanic cult. Yep. Um, <laughs> and this is like a rich people satanic. Yeah, cult. yeah, yeah. Totally. It, it's got it's got that kind of like same vibe as like Ready or Nots, like rich versus poor people. Yeah, thing yeah, going yeah. On. Definitely, it's definitely a rich versus poor people kind of story. Um, and and uh, I I enjoyed this movie. It this, was a, this movie is a lot of fun. It's very. <laughs> funny oh yeah um it is a cult movie about a cult yes yes it is cult in both ways it, it has that same kind of vibe as like a john waters movie or like even like a trauma movie where it's not trying to be high art it's just trying to yeah, be fun it's just trying to be fun it's trying to be what it is and everyone has like these iconic looks that would be perfect for like cosplays or like midnight oh, yeah. showings and stuff yeah um, um it's got jerry o'connell in it in yep. a supporting role it has whitney moore whitney in moore's this. in this briefly yeah yeah, yeah. i was um, like jordan oh, lad's in this uh that dude who shows up in every rob zombie movies in this yeah yeah the dude <laughs> with like the big rasputin beard yeah you know who isn't rob zombie he's got himself. like he's got he's got that like uh that, like that handlebars handlebar yeah. mustache i don't know what you call that the um the yeah, sheriff we, stash yeah 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 he's he's yeah, he shows up in every Rob Zombie movie, and he was, like, the guy who played the teacher in the video for Everyone's Fucking in a UFO. He's got, like, he's, like, Jeff Daniel Phillips or something like that. But yeah, I, yeah, I, I believe that's his name. Jeff I Daniel probably Phillips. mispronounced or missaid his name, but that's what I think it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, he was also one of the major, the, one of the main supporting characters in uh, Lords of Salem. Oh, yeah, true, true. He was the boy, he was the almost boyfriend in that one. And so this movie, this movie's got a lot of a who's who of like um, low budget film uh, actors. actors. Yeah, um, AJ Bowen's in this, um, mm -hmm. having a blast playing a total creep. <laughs> Um, and, uh, this, this is not the movie you go to if you want, like, this isn't like, say, The Lodge or Hereditary. Or The or, Witch. Or The Witch. Or like, Lighthouse. This isn't or... an art house <laughs> indie <laughs> horror film that you're going to, to have, like, yourself scared shitless while also being intellectually stimulated. No, that's not this movie. This is the movie you go to when you want to get a bunch of friends together with some joints and some beers so that you could sit there and, like, 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 take a puff every time someone yeah, says yeah. something it's, satanic. It's a right? Night of the Demons kind of <laughs> yeah. movie, you know? Like, Night of the Demons is not that smart a movie, but it's highly entertaining. It's a movie for drinking games. It's a movie for uh, riffing. It's a movie for, you know, just having a good time. And it's insanely quotable. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of... It's definitely, like, a movie that was It's in the vein of a lot of the movies that got put on video in the 80s, which mm -hmm. is uh, something that they actually reference. It reminds me a lot of, like, the really, like, like the Jim Wynorski movies mm -hmm. and, and shit like that. I could totally see that. Or, yeah. like, you know... Um, actually, I think Maniac Cop might be a little too intellectual for this <laughs> Might film. be a little too much. Yeah. <laughs> Maniac Cop has something to say. Yeah, This yeah, movie yeah. has a little bit to say about rich people and poor people, but for the most part, it's just about having fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for the most part, it's just about, like, fucked up shit happening. <laughs> um, it oh. reminded me it actually the movie it reminded me the most of actually was Elvira Mistress of the Dark I could see that you yeah. know <laughs> 
It does have some funny satirical moments, though. Like, the moment where this rich dude is trying to rape someone and is just like, I'm a feminist! <laughs> yeah, uh, which is, of course, who, who, could, who could play that part better than anybody? Jerry O'Connell. Oh, I, I miss Jerry O'Connell. I love that guy. Yeah, I haven't seen him in anything since, like, fucking Piranha 3D. Yeah, I think that might have been the last time yeah, I remember so seeing him. Really I nice think he might again. have been in movies between then, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Yeah, I don't think that they were films that we saw or remember very well, you know? <laughs> And again, if he was in him, I think we would have remembered that. His his his, his uh, stint in this movie is very brief. Um, in fact, I believe it's only one scene in one location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he is thoroughly enjoyable while he's there, and he leaves an, a lasting impression. Um, and that's true of everyone in this movie. Everyone leaves a nice, lasting impression. I, I like some of the costumes in this movie. Like, there's one costume in particular. Where I'm like, if I, if I see this at, co- at a conventions, I will not be surprised. And it involves a, a, a drill dildo. Oh, the drill dildo. Yeah. <laughs> the drill dough. They actually call it a kill dough in kill the movie, dough. but I'm like, no, it's a drill dough. It probably should have been a drill yeah. dough, yeah. Whitney Moore wears it. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And, like, her outfit when she's wearing that, I'm like, that's going to be a total cosplay. Oh, her. yeah. No, totally. <laughs> totally. Totally. Because it's, it's, it's an image that's kind of unlike anything else in the movie. Yep. You know, where basically there's a point where, like, the girl runs into a house and there are these two psychotic sisters who are trying to drill fuck someone to death. <laughs> and so Whitney Moore comes out at one point and she just looks like, she looks like a Harley Quinn with a fucking drill dick. Pretty much. That's what she looks like. And <laughs> so that's the kind of movie we're talking about this here. This is what you're entering. That's yeah, like, yeah, that's, yeah. That's what you're paying for. Well, technically, if you're getting Shudder, then you're not necessarily paying for it directly. But you get what I mean. But, yeah, but th- this, <laughs> is what you, this is what your money has bought. And what a good use of your oh, yeah. cash it is. Um, which, by the way, this is totally on Shudder right now. In fact, it yep. recently got put on Shudder, which is why we watched it. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a movie. It came out last year, but it just now got on Shudder. Yep. Yep. It is is one of those movies I wanted to watch all last year, but I just did not have the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like, man, 19, 2019 was fucking packed. Man. It was super packed. Um, as opposed to right now, in which I have all the time in the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. There's there's another like weird satanic panic movie that I based like horror comedy that I kind of want to watch, but now I'm spacing on its name. Well, there's a couple ones that were coming out last year. Like there was a documentary on on Satan that was coming out last year, like on the actual satanic movement. Well, yeah, well that was yeah that was the Hail Satan. Documentary. Yeah, there's Hail yeah. Satan. There was Satanic Panic. And I think there was like a third one. Yeah, this is the third one. Yeah, there was a third one that was like you know two girls go into a thing and satanic shit happens. If you know what movie he's talking about, feel free to. Clueless yeah, yeah. Feel free to remind us because, like, I can't remember it off the top of my head. Um. So, so yeah, I I thoroughly recommend this. If you have a Shutter subscription, you should totally watch it. And if you don't have a Shutter subscription, you should probably get one. We are not sponsored by them. We are just really big fans. We should be. We should be. Oh we yeah, should we be. totally should be. The problem is, is that the moment we're sponsored by them, and then everyone's gonna think that the movies we like on it are because they're paying us. Yeah, that, people are that's jerks kind like of that. the double. That's the double edged. I'm like I that like, one. You I, know? Most of the things I talk about, I like anyway. So you should like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually, usually, usually the movies that we watch that we hate are the ones that we're sort of like everyone wants us to do but the reason we didn't do them was because we're like I don't know if I want to spend two hours with this or something I was hoping for the best for and it just turned out to be total crap like that's how I felt about the turning I was hoping for the best oh, and I got complete garbage oh yeah <laughs> oof oof or something that's just in my wheelhouse, and I'm like, I might as well watch it. And then, like, turns out it, it was in my wheelhouse, but for all the wrong reasons. Yeah. Um, yeah, some crap. Just some fucking, when you're going through guts, sometimes some bullshit ends up on the slaughterhouse floor, and you just gotta clean it up. So, uh, before we get to the spoilers, I do want to mention some things that might entice you to see this movie. Uh, but if you want a satanic orgy, this movie's got you. It's got it, yeah. Um, if you want uh, some blood and guts, there's some fucked up shit that happens in this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not the most... It's very cartoony, though. It's very cartoony, and it is it is pretty much practical, because they could not afford any yeah, sort yeah, of yeah. None of <laughs> None of the gore looks particularly I think there was realistic. only one digital effect, and it was like this light on this heart, and that was about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Um, everything else is pretty practical and uh, very low budget. That's another thing I wanted to tell you about this movie. This movie is super low budget and you can feel it. Oh, yeah. Um, in fact, I think at the end of the movie, I saw it was crowdfunded. 
Um, there yes. was like a whole bunch yeah, of like, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was kickstarted. names in the list. And I'm like, okay, so this is a, this is not only low budget, it was crowdfunded low budget. So yep. explains a lot about the movie, actually. Yeah, but with that said, like this is the kind of movie that I think crowdfunding is made oh, for. Oh, totally, totally, absolutely. Um, and you get your money's worth out of it. Yep. Oh shit! I I I, I, will, I will go and edit this into the first part of uh, the review, the pre spoiler part. Um, there are bunnies who die in this movie, so you've been warned. Yeah, they're 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 yeah. Um, uh, the movie is very hard R and very fun. And with that said, I think we should move on to spoilers because yep. there's some fun shit we want to talk about. So uh, yep, let's do that. Get your big tits and gear. We got to roll. Oh, yeah. There's, 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 there's tits galore in this movie, especially when you reach the climax. There's some titties everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was also a line. Not enough movie dong, I, though. Not enough dong. Needed more no. dong. We needed some no, it more have No, it should have been some more gratuitous dong yes. we didn't get. You do get, like, a like a, a Jerry O'Connell just stripped down to his fucking underwear, though, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it would have been funny to actually watch him, like, run around a little bit. Oh, yeah, bit that would have been, way, that would been way funnier. Yeah. Especially given the context. Yeah. Of the so, scene. What, so what we're saying is, is, is it doesn't necessarily go all as far as like Victor Crowley does. No, <laughs> no. But it could have used more dong, but it's got a whole lot of tits. It's got a whole lot of tits. So <laughs> there you go. Um. Uh. Uh. If if you want to see AJ Bowen have his uh fucking entrails pulled out of his fucking throat. Um, that happens in this movie. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to see someone uh, ripping Jerry O'Connell's soul literally out from out his, of neck, his neck, yeah, <laughs> that happens in this that movie. It's a thing. Uh, if you want to see a girl getting uh, uh, choke attacked by a cloak, um, that happens in this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there is there is a lot of lot of nice stupid gory effects. There's a that tree demon at one point. There's a tree demon. Uh, there's also like what is essentially, they call it something else, but it's essentially a hellhound. Yeah, there's a hellhound at one point. Yeah. Um, um, there's a fucking, um, uh, Baphomet himself makes an appearance at one point. Yep. Looking, looking, looking mighty fucking spiffy, I gotta say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, with like the ten eyes yeah, and everything. I You're love like, that. Oh, man, no, perfect. My only problem with that scene, and because this whole movie is leading up to them trying to sacrifice the main character who's a virgin to Baphomet, who's going to fuck her and then give birth and be alive on Earth. And that's basically the premise of the movie. Um... My only problem with that scene is we don't actually see him fucking her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know how to say it. I kind of was kind of hoping that we'd at least get the Tromeo and Juliet with the hand puppet penis monster. Or, or even something. like or even like a Rosemary's baby where you get yeah, the intimation yeah, yeah. that's happening. Yeah. But the way they filmed it, it just kind of looks like she's just all of a sudden pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, a eh, 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 little budget. Eh. Maybe can't, the actress wasn't into it. Who knows? Yeah, no maybe, clue. maybe, maybe they filmed it, but it looked too fake. Maybe, know? maybe they didn't have the Baphomet at the time they were filming the main actress. That's another possibility. That's another possibility because the Baphomet yeah. was kind of in his own isolated shot. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and so they they did the best they could. You know, yeah, that's prob possible. it's probably something as simple as that. But like, even like a first person view of Baphomet coming towards her, like, would have been yeah, something. yeah, that would have been good. That would have been know? good. Um, uh, but, but, but that being said, that is a minor quibble in a overall really fun movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're not worried about like... This is what a B movie is. It is. It is. You know? It is. Like, like you said, like, well, you likened it to like trauma films yeah. and well, it doesn't go as far as a trauma movie yeah, would go, like, but it's still got that same sensibility. The immediate movies I go to are movies that kind of go a little farther than this, but it is in those veins. Like, Rocky Horror Picture is way cheesier than this, but it's going yes. for that kind of yeah. cheese. Yeah, it is. Um, um, trauma is way gorier and grosser than this, but it's going for that kind of thing. Yeah, this kind of sits in that same area as um, Deathgasm. Yeah, yeah. Even Deathgasm, though, like goes Deathgasm went a little bit farther with the core, yeah. You know? But so it, it doesn't quite go all the way with everything, but it has a lot of everything, and I enjoy. All yeah, of it. yeah, yeah. And it doesn't. It doesn't. There are a lot of things. It it doesn't. The plot does not wimp out. 
No. Like, there are a lot of things that happen in the plot where you're like, oh, Jesus. There's a point where you just, we're just all in on the Satan thing. Like, within yeah. the first 20 minutes, I was just like, oh, man, they're not even going to keep us guessing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, satanic wizard happens in the first 15 minutes Magic and shit. There's a fucking, you know? there's a fucking voodoo doll scene, except it's like with a wax. Voodoo. Yeah, it's a, a, wa a wax effigy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one of the things that I thought was kind of weird was that they reference, like, um, Baphomet is having three faces. And I was like, mm. I, I, I know where that, where you're getting that from, but why are you bringing it up? And by the end of the movie, it becomes very clear because it's a tip off because there are actually three major demons in the movie. Oh. There's Baphomet, there's Samazizel. Uh, and um, an unnamed one. Yes, which may or may not be Satan. Yeah, which may or may not be Satan himself. Um, the movie doesn't doesn't directly say anything, but it's intimated. Yeah, yeah, because there is the dude who kicks off our hero's entrance into the plot is this rich guy who doesn't say anything and doesn't tip. Yeah, and doesn't appear in any any of the movie except for the beginning and the end. Yeah. And no one seems to know what she's talking about when she refers to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like, <laughs> oh, that's Carl. Like, you so know. you're like, okay, is that the devil? Is that another demon? Who is that? I don't know. Maybe it's just some bald guy. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, it's entirely <laughs> possible. But there is like one of the one of the tip offs is the fact that she's having to deliver these pizzas to the super ritzy neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And so you have this question about like, who would fucking order a pizza for this kind of oh, shindig? Yeah. You know, like, this is, like, fucking crumpets and caviar kind of crap. You know, like, why Why is someone ordering a pizza? I'm telling you, it's because of the Antichrist. The Antichrist? Oh, yeah, shit. They wanted to summon the Antichrist. Yeah. What, what the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there is that question about, like, who called her? Yeah. And why yeah. is she here? And who was it? And by the end of the movie, it doesn't answer that, but it highly intimates that it's, like, the devil. Pretty much. This is also just the kind of movie where every small role leaves some sort of impression. Yes. Like like her her yes. friend at the beginning of the movie, her coworker, not the creepy one, but the other one. That dude is only oh, on I screen. Oh, I love that dude. Yeah. He's only on screen for maybe 5 minutes tops, but like you want more of him cuz he's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I went in a delivery boy. I came out a delivery, delivery man. man. <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean when I say this movie is insanely <laughs> quotable. There's a lot of small little lines like that. Or like when Jerry O'Connell is trying to save the main character by raping her out of her virginity. Yeah. And he's just like, look what you're making me do. I'm a, a feminist. feminist. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that. That was great. Oh, geez. And, um, don't, and, and the rape scene is not very, first of all, he doesn't. He doesn't connect. Oh, he doesn't succeed. And no. he doesn't succeed. And, and also, he gets his for that. oh, he does. <laughs> and it's not very graphic. It's no. it's this is this is done for the wah wahs. <laughs> um, they, I I don't know what more to say other than I love this movie because you kind of know plot wise what this movie is the moment you enter it. Like well, this the, is a movie where the 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 experience of the movie is in the watching. Of the yeah, movie. it's not the plot or anything like that because you already know the moment she ends up with the cult that it's about sacrificing her as a virgin and her trying to get yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you you just want to see where this ride goes. Yeah, pretty and much. It, Goes in some really great directions. I really fucking love that scene where they go into her past of like surviving cancer and stuff, and like yeah, and like abandoning her friend who who had went who had went into remission or not into uh, the opposite of remission. Yeah, yeah, she's the one who went into remission. He did not. He did he not. Died. And and instead of uh, going to be with him, she was too scared. Um, and so that's why she's going to save this other character in the movie. Yeah. Um, and I really love that scene because that scene was like super cheesy. It was super exposition-y, but it worked. What was happening <laughs> while she's trying to, they did a really Trying to calm thing. her down yeah. by telling her a story. Yeah. Well, they're, they're trying to, she's trying to save another character by like casting protective runes on her. Mm -hmm. And she's telling her the story as that's happening. So it was a really good decision to be like, all right, here's the bland exposition oh, yeah. scene. Where can we put this? That was and a, they found a really good spot for. That it. was really smart writing because it, it made it it made the exposition not feel super exposition expositiony because it's actually serving more of a purpose. Yeah, she's trying to calm down the person who is undergoing a voodoo fucking ritual that will kill her if she doesn't complete the rituals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they don't <laughs> fucking complete their end of the spell. So she's trying to calm her down by telling her a story, and the only story she can think of is her past because this. 
recently happened. She only recently like uh, recovered from cancer and entered the workforce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because in the beginning, like when she first tells it, you get the impression that it was like a couple of years ago. No, it's actually supposed to be like a couple of weeks. Yep. Yep. Like that just happened. God, this movie's a lot of fun. Like, yeah. Like, I'm not going to say that it is the most A-plus movie you've ever seen because there are things that this movie does that I can think of a million movies that do better. But it is so fun. It is exactly what you want when you put it in. and It's an A-plus movie made out of C-grade material. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. That's a good way to put it. Um, and if you get a whole bunch of friends together and sit down and watch it, I can't imagine you having a bad time. Oh, no. It's going to be a, it's gonna be a great time because it this is a movie where you are intended to laugh out loud a oh, lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it happens a lot. It happens a lot. Um, oh, I do man. like it. It answered a question um, uh, that I always ask whenever these kinds of movies happen. Because yeah. A lot, a lot of movies about, like, sacrificing virgins and shit like that, they are, they're always very heteronormative. And by that, I mean, there's always this question of, like, um, what counts as a virgin? What counts as a virgin? And this movie actually has a clarification that, like, no, no, th th this specifically only applies if she's had a penis in her or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, um, when it comes to black magic, it's strictly dickly, okay? So because, That's all that counts. Because it's only her and another girl throughout the entire movie, they can't just fucking get it over with. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, like, it, like, doesn't count. It doesn't count. As far as the spell There's got to be a penis. <laughs> no, it was a good clarification. I like that because most of the time when these movies happen, I'm always wondering that. I'm like, oh, could she just fuck her and like be be fine? Like, what really counts as a virginity? What if she went down on him? Like, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Does that count? <laughs> like, you know, does the Jesus back? Does Jesus's back door also? Yeah, count? yeah, you know? yeah. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> what counts? Okay, in this movie, it clarifies. It has to be a penis into her vagina. Her vagina. Yeah. Bam. 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 Right. Very specific. Very clear. <laughs> it's kind of like the like like feed him after midnight thing. Like what what? Every... Yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> Except there's like a clear yeah a, a clear uh, definition of what all that means. Yep. You know, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. This movie's a lot of fun. It's You're like, not gonna regret watching this. No no. You I know? highly recommend Satanic Panic. And uh, with that said, where can they find you, Satanic Jackula? Oh well, you can find me on Twitch TV slash count underscore Jackula because uh, I stream there many times a week, but in particular Thursday at six p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and again on Sunday at nine p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and we talk about all sorts of groovy, random, satanic things on that stream. And you should be there because we would love to fucking see you. Come in here, give me a just stop on in sometime. Give us a hail, Satan. We'll love you. Fuck yeah. Um, and y'all know me. I'm the horror guru. You can find me at the horror guru on Twitter, on Twitch, on Facebook. Just look up the horror guru or Blood Spider Cinema, and I'll be there. Um, and while you're here uh, watching this video, be sure to leave a comment down below. Uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you haven't already, ring that notification bell so that you'll be notified of my videos immediately upon their upload. Um, and if you want to help out my channel or even Jack's twitching uh, more directly, then check out our Patreon pages. And remember, if you decide to go the Patreon route for either of us, even a dollar a month can go a long way. Especially in these troubled quarantine times. Oh yeah, especially times. in these quarantine times. Yes. <laughs> oh dude, we got to we got to make sure we can buy toilet paper. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, now that we're in quarantine, I'm going to try to do uh, a bunch of vlogs because we've been watching a lot of stuff. Um, we're probably going to do one on uh, season two of Castle Rock soon. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, stay yeah. tuned for that. Um, spoilers, I loved it. He's about halfway through at the moment. Yep. So, we'll get his thoughts when that happens. Um, and, uh, yeah. Uh, with that said, uh, stay safe out there. Wash your goddamn hands. And, Wash your uh, goddamn hands. Wipe your goddamn ass. Wipe your goddamn ass. <laughs> Wash your ass. Yes. Yeah. Um, and uh, given the movie we just talked about, Hail, Hail Satan. Satan.